Hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing some programming and design work on my site over the next couple of months as I get free time. And one of the tasks laid before me is offering video thumbnails in my video listings pages. In the past I just had a text title on the listing pages, but I want to make the user experience better with graphical representations of each video. Since I don't already have a file system with all my video thumbnails in them, I can go about this in a couple of different ways. The first way would be to painstakingly load YouTube's video thumbnail repository server to get each of my video thumbnails one by one in a very manual sort of way. And I have a little bit over 500 thumbnails to get, so that would take quite some time to do in that way. And then I would have to transfer them to my server, which would take some additional time. So the approach I opted to go with is to use PHP to write a little script that can get them in batches or all at once by referencing my video database. The script will get each image from YouTube's image repository server and automatically put them into a folder of my choosing on my server. And this approach will save me tons of time and effort. So instead of hours, it will just take minutes or seconds depending on how many images I need to get. And it's better and more ethical to have the thumbnails on my own server instead of hot linking to the images from YouTube servers in order to display them on my site. And even though the thumbnails are mine, YouTube is hosting them for me, but not for the purpose of me hot linking to the images from my website. So it's more ethical for me to get them all and have them on my own server if I want to display little thumbnails in my videos listing pages. Now there's not much to this script so I'm going to explain it all line by line and then I'll also have the code available at my website so if you guys want to get to the code you can just click the link in the video's description at YouTube. Alright so you can see I have a all right, you can see I have a script titled get video thumbs.php and the first thing I'm doing in the script is requiring my database connection file so here you put the path to your connection file. Now the next thing in the script is my curl fetch file function, which takes in one parameter, which is the URL to the image, the video thumbnail, on YouTube's repository server. I'll give you a link to the PHP manual where you can learn about all of the curl functions. So the first thing I do is initialize a curl session with curl in it. Then I'm going to set some options for a curl transfer, which are these three options here. And you can see the URL parameter is set in this last option right there. Then in the next line, we're going to perform a curl session, which performs the operation or executes the operation. Then we're going to close the curl session with curl close and then simply return the data, the file to the portion of my script that is calling this file curl fetch file to run and you can see that's down here curl fetch file and that's going to run recursively in a loop so first I set my SQL syntax and you can use MySQL I extension or PDO whatever you want and I have a few PDO tutorials if you want to learn PDO instead of using MySQL I so here we have our SQL syntax, which is select ID, title, and video ID, which the video ID references YouTube's unique ID for each video on their network. So in my database, I have my ID for my database, the title of the video, and then YouTube's unique video ID on their system. From my videos table, I'm going to order it by ID ascending limit 0 to 100. That means I'm going to get 100 of them at a time, starting from the 0 index. That means the first one in the database all the way through the 100th one. So this loop, this while loop here, is going to run 100 times very quickly. Then next line we execute the query and then finally we run the while loop over the result set. And here I'm just getting the row ID title and video into the local PHP variables. Then the variable that I named for the curl fetch file function return data is image data. And you can see here is the link to the file on YouTube's image repository server. Then right before we run file put contents 
function in PHP, we have to assign the file put contents path and the uh, name that you want the file to have. So I just put the video ID, which is the unique ID on YouTube server, and then .jpg. So I rename the file and put it in the path, the folder system that I want. Then finally run file put contents, which actually puts the file on your server. And the first parameter is FPC, which I just explained above, and then the image data that's returned from the curl functions. Now here I'm just echoing out information for myself to view on the page as things come in, which this isn't even necessary, but I just put it there for seeing what's going on. Now I'll go to my server and run this file, get video thumbs.php, and we'll see if it works. Oh yeah, I told you guys I would give you a URL that you can go to to learn about PHP's curl functions. And I could have used file get contents, but I think the curl functions are more suited to this sort of programming. And that's why I opted to use curl instead of file get contents. But here's the URL. All right, here I am at adamcorey.com and you can see my video listings have no thumbnails. It's just a text link with a little image of a video icon next to him. And what I want to do is have a little tiny representation of the actual video thumbnail there instead. And I'm going to run that script and see if it runs successful. And it could take some time depending on your connection speed because we are doing a hundred at a time. So, And you'll also want to check out the max execution time on your server if yours happens to time out. You can change the max execution time and a couple of other options on your server directives in your php.ini file. But even though it's going to take a few seconds, it's a lot lo it's going to take a lot less time than it would for me having to do all of this manually. All right, so here's the results. And it looks like yeah. They're all in and on my server, and I can prove that by going to inspect and then over here, we should see that they're on my local file system on my server and not YouTube's. See? Image sources, images, vid thumbs, then the image unique ID, dot JPEG. And I have all 100 results in a little less than under a minute. And each one says video title, and then my database ID for the first one is 1 with YouTube video ID right there. Thumbnail received and there's the thumbnail. Let's go down. So we have one through 100. So for the next 100, I would just put a 100 here because that's the index in the database that I want to start at and go forward from that index and it will get another 100 starting from this index. Or you can just do them all at once. All right, I hope you guys have found this educational and interesting. And I'll be offering my SPA code very soon. What I have planned to do is to remove the UI stuff that I had in my example, break it down to just its bare bones for just the essentials that you'll need for the single page application development. Because I have a lot of design stuff and things going on in the example I had. So I'm going to break it all down to a very bare bones project. That way you guys can stem from something that doesn't have a bunch of unnecessary things in it. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.